Hello students. In the previous videos we introduced you to seven index laws. Now there is at least one more index law to do, one or two more index laws, but we're going to leave those for another year. So what we're going to do now is start to use those index laws to solve some problems. So let's start with looking at 5 raised to the x plus 2 equals 5 to the 2x take 1. And what we have to do here is find out what the value of x is. Now the secret here is to say, well, the bases are the same. The expressions are equal. That can only be true if x plus 2 equals 2x take 1. Now let's just recall how we solve equations like this. If we have x's on both sides of the equation, the first step is always to subtract x from each side. Those cross out. 2x minus x is the same as 2x minus 1x. So 2x minus x is just 1x or x. And copy down the minus 1. And finally, add 1 to both sides. And I'm going to write the x on the left. And that gives us x equals 3. Let's do a quick check. 3 plus 2 is 5, so that's 5 to the 5. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 1 is 5, so that's also 5 to the 5. So that's correct. Okay, you try the second one on your own, please. Okay, let's see how you went on that. So the bases are the same, so therefore the indices have to be the same. And my computer is playing up. Thank you, computer. I think we can continue with that. So x plus 1 must equal 3x take 9. Once again, I've got the variable on both sides, or I should say the unknown on both sides. x minus x crosses out or goes to 0, leaving just a 1. 3x minus x is the same as 3x minus 1x or 2x take 9. To solve this equation, we add 9 to both sides, leaving just 2x on the left, which I'm going to write, uh, 2x on the right, which I'm going to write on the left, and 1 plus 9 is 10. And then finally, divide both sides by 2, and x equals 5. Okay, let's do a quick check to see if that, uh, in fact, is correct. 5 plus 1 is 6, so this side is 3 to the power of 6. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 9 is also 6, so x equals 5 is the correct answer. Okay, let's have a look at a few more slightly more challenging problems. We want to use the same method on this page as we did in the previous one, but this isn't written as a power of 2. So the way we go ahead and fix that problem is we write it as a power of 2. And then we can use what we did in the previous, uh, previous page. So 1 is equal to, well, any number raised to the 0 power is 1. So I just rewrite the 1 as 2 to the 0. And now I can proceed as before. The bases are the same. Therefore, the indices are the same. Solve that equation. So I subtract 4 from both sides, leaving me 2x equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 2, and x equals negative 4 divide 2. x equals negative 2. Quick check. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. 2 to the 0 equals 1. So that's correct. Okay, I might give you a bit of a hint on the next question. If you don't want a hint, stop the video now. Otherwise, I'll give you a hint. What you're going to have to do here is basically do a little bit of algebra first before you can start to use your index law. So if you've got a factor of 4 there, get rid of it by dividing both sides by 4. Second hint, you can simplify 7 to the power of x plus 7 to the power of x. So I'll leave it at that. 
have a go at this question. Once you've uh, attempted it, then restart the video and we'll see how you went. Okay, so a bit of a tricky question. By the way, it's tricky in one sense that algebraically we've got to do quite a few steps. Not so tricky in another sense that if you just look at it and you make the guess that X is going to be a, a nice number, you could probably almost do it by trial and error. But let's do it algebraically rather than by trial and error. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that 4. I want to simplify this as much as possible. 4 is multiplied by 7X plus 7X. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. The 4s cancel out. And that leaves me with 7 to the X plus 7 to the X equals, and half of uh, 56 is 28. Half of that is 14. So 7 to the X plus 7 to the X is 14. Now, these are like terms. So you can add like terms. 7, X, 7 to the X plus 7 to the X is 2 times. 7 to the x equals 14. Divide top and bottom by 2. And that gives me 7 to the x equals 7. And in this case, we know that 7 to the 1 equals 7. So the answer is x equals 1. Quick check. 7 to the 1 is 7. 7 to the 1 is 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 by 4 is 56, so that's correct. So for these questions, in this video, the secret is to get the bases the same and then set the powers equal to each other. Okay, on to the next problem in the next video.